Hey everybody, it's me, Dante or Mystique or whatever. Um, this video is pretty much of a quick up. Well, oh, what's that on my neck? Um, it's not gonna be a quick update. It's just um, I'm just probably gonna ramble on on a lot of things. I don't know how long this video. Well, this video is not gonna be long because I have a I have a thing with this video. But my next video is gonna be I don't know because I'm about to ramble. Um, but this video is pretty much to tell you what I've been up to this past weekend. This weekend, um, I drove to, you know, to Blue Island, Illinois, or, you know, Chicago, to, to MC a prelim for the North American International System. Um, I also did an interview with the Feast of Fun. If y'all don't know who they are, y'all need to go to iTunes, search for, you know, uh, Mark and Fontos, um, or, you know, the, it is feastoffun.com, I believe. Just Google it, it'll pop up. Um, but... What this video is about is some of y'all know this, other people don't. Um, because I've been kind of keeping it a secret, and a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people knew, a lot of people close to me know know what I'm thinking and all this stuff. Y'all know I love makeup so much, um, and my entertainment side, you know, mystique side, the you know, drag and everything. I. At one point, well, I'm going through a midlife crisis right now, I think, um, because in a couple of weeks I'll, I'll be 20, I'll be 29 in a couple of weeks, so I'm going through an early mid midlife crisis, what is this on my neck? Okay, sorry, I'm just running away, but at one point, I even, I pulled up on my phone, at one point, I was contemplating on quitting drag, like, no, completely quit and just concentrate on makeup and just do and try to to try to become you know just a makeup artist just a successful makeup artist um i was gonna completely quit because i was like i don't know because a couple weeks like a couple weeks ago i had a midlife crisis or early midlife crisis i had another one again let me find it because i was like it was like one day i was just I was just sitting at home and I was thinking and I was like, really? And let me see. I'm sorry, I got this long old conversation going on. Um, oh my god, oh my god, where is that? Where is it? Well, I was talking about how, you know, right now, a lot of people are, are, are like passing away and everything like that. And it's all about what type of legacy they're they're gonna pass on, or if anybody remember, or anything like that. So I I told the, this one person, I'll say names soon and all this stuff. I told the, the, this one person, I was like, I was like, okay, where's that? Where's that? La 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 la. Oh my god, I thought I found it. 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 Okay, now I found it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, like I said, I'm rambling. I was like, well, I'm about to be 29 years old. What do I have? I haven't hit the personal goals that I told myself that I wanted to hit before I turned 29, or re pretty much before I turned 28. I didn't hit any of my goals. I didn't do anything. And he was like, are you really asking that question? I was like, well, yeah. I was like, because me personally, I feel like I haven't done nothing. I haven't done anything and he messaged back saying you're about to be 29 you have an amazing career and you have thousands of fans and my next video I'll get into the rest um, so with that saying the thousands of fans blah 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 so I'm still contemplating on quitting drag until yesterday a lot of people know that I kind of keep my emotions to myself I don't really talk about my emotions I keep it all you know bottled up y'all may see a rent video here and there but y'all don't see who I really am yesterday I was um well for Friday I was partying at Club Crave in Blue Island and I, I performed yesterday so I was you know partying party hanging out hanging out so the one of the owners by the name of Jason Hall or Lindsay Devereaux she was excited to pretty much to meet me 
to a certain extent, you know, be like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't wait to meet you, Mystique, you know, things like that. But yesterday, we was having this in-depth conversation, how she told a lot of people, like, oh my god, I'm performing with Mystique, because she, she emailed me, asked if we could do a duet. She emailed me, well, she emailed me, asked me about to do a duet, and then she started telling everybody, she said, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And, and with me, I'm like, I'm pretty much normal to that. I don't see it as, you know, like, oh my god, the star, the star, 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 anything like that. What really hit home for me to be like, wow, is yesterday we were talking. She said that she has never watched the show. She never seen Drag Race, never seen an episode of Drag Race. She just knew, you, you know, everybody knows Mystique, the whole, you know, Bitch Out of Chicago thing. That's the only thing she knew of me. And, and based on that, she was just excited to meet me, excited to perform with me. And things like that. And, you know, every, a lot of us post these videos, oh my god, this person, I got this email from this person, they touched me, blah, 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 you know. Think, things like that, but meeting meeting Jason or you know Lindsay in drag yesterday for the first time. I met him as a boy on Friday, but just meeting him for the first time and his feelings that he had with that, saying I've never never seen the show. I just heard a lot of things about you and a lot of positive things and all that, all that stuff. And you're you're very you're a wonderful entertainer. You're this 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 and. I was just thinking, I was like, wow, for somebody who has never seen the show, all they heard was Mystique, you know, Mystique Summers, you know, Bitch, I'm Chicago. That is all he knew of me. And he was excited and told everybody about it, about his performance with me. And I just, I never had that. I just, I had people, you know, oh, I'm backtracking. I never had that. I, I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I know I'm feeling like super and I'm feeling great. And... It's making me, I don't, I don't know the word <laughs> that I'm trying to think of right now, but like rekindling my passion for what I'm doing because, okay, like, like with Jason, I'm going to go on another, another quick, quick topic on my YouTube videos. Um, I met this one entertainer in um, Baltimore. And, you know, I told her about my tutorials and all that stuff. So, she went out. She did a couple pageants. She put up her, her promo pictures. I saw her, her promo pictures. And we're, we're, we're always joking about, you know, cover girl makeup. So, so, so I, was, I was like, ooh, your skin looks so cover girl flawless. She, was, she you know, messaged, ha ha, thank you. And then somebody messaged him. Said, oh my god, you look great. Who painted you? She's like, well, I painted myself with the help of Mystique's tutorials. And for people just to say that I helped them out with just even my tutorials, I don't, we all get, get the emails, oh my god, you helped me, you helped me out, blah, 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 blah. But to actually see the photos of somebody that watched my videos and learned from my videos and applied it to their own, their own style of makeup is like, it's crazy. It's, I don't know. I think... I think when people meet me and see how normal and relaxed relaxed that I am and they're all, you know, excited, 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 it's like it's like they're not for them, they're meeting Mystique the Star. But I don't see it that way. I see I see everybody else as a star more than myself. Because Oh my god, I don't know. This video is going to be so long. It's like almost 10 minutes. Um, I don't... I I don't know. It's it's weird. For me, it's weird. Because I'm helping, the, I'm helping these people to go from here to here. And it's like, it is so awesome to do that. And, like, just to be with people that, you know... It's like, like Lindsay, it was my first time meeting her and, and performing with her and everything. She was all ecstatic, enjoyed, and things like that. And my friend in um, Baltimore that I met once and told him my, my channel for, for YouTube. People that I haven't even met that I just 
correspond with through emails that send me pictures like oh my god am I doing this right is this the correct way is that that's correct way? I I think now is the first time I'm feeling overwhelmed with being the TV star I guess I think I want to say that I think it's just that I don't I don't know I'm just over overwhelmed it's like I never thought that I would be this person pretty much I just knew that I'm a I'm a great entertainer and when my OCD and ADD kicks in I want to do something else and I want to do do other things do other things do this 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 this, this. but for having but for having people to to stop and just say thank you for this 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 and I'm like I'm not doing it for me I'm really not it's like my whole tutorials and everything that I do I'm not do doing it for me I I just enjoy to do, doing makeup and people want to learn how to do it and for people to be like hey can you, can you teach me how to do this it's like in my in my head I'd be like okay yeah sure I'll, I can teach you this how you do it this how you do it and sometimes I'm blonde and it don't hit me until days later I'm like wow I'm really helping people and it's great and it's awesome and it's just I don't I don't know um this is like a long ramble of a incomplete thought I guess it's just that I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm completely overwhelmed with everything I've not been on TV in I want to say uh, we're on season six now so about three three to four years and people are still remembering me and yeah so <laughs> I guess I think I think that's over I think the complete ram ramble is over but yeah check out um, Club Crave on Facebook and everything um, it's Club Crave in Blue Island Illinois check out Jason Howell or Lindsay Devereaux I had a blast with them they treated me like one of, one of their family members and everything and for me to um, to go to a place where I don't know anybody and completely let my guard down because I have so many trust issues to completely let my guard down means a lot and I think that's why I'm feeling like this and I'm feeling kind of scared but in a good way but I don't know stay tuned for my other my my longer rant on things so yeah so remember remember like comment subscribe give me your thoughts if y'all think think I'm just I'm just crazy just say Bitch, you're crazy. I don't know. So, talk to you later. Peace. Bye.